Hey everyone, it's Luca here, and today I want to talk about the awesome Galaxy skin from Fortnite Battle Royale. Yep, it's that cool looking skin that not a lot of people can get because it is a Samsung Note 9 and S4 tablet exclusive item. Now the thing about this, when it was announced as an exclusive item, I thought, you know, why couldn't you just go to a, use a friend's tablet or a friend's phone, kind of redeem it from there and stuff like that. And people have been doing it as I'm seeing right now. So I'm looking at this article here by Polygon and he reports that people are indeed using demo phones, like the ones you see in stores that you can kind of demo out and try to redeem the cool looking Galaxy skin for themselves. And the way they do this, it's kind of exactly what you think is they, they go on these demo phones, actually download the Fortnite app, you have to install it, and then you have to play a couple of games, and then you get your skin within the next 48 hours. I mean, I was thinking you'd do that with a friend's phone, you maybe know a friend who has a Note 9, or the new Samsung tablet, they don't really play Fortnite, you can just kind of ask them, hey man, do you know Fortnite Battle Royale? Let me sign in first, and check it out, show you, <laughs> and then get your skin. And it's funny, Samsung is actually wising up to this in the stores. There's this tweet by this guy who took a picture of a sign, and it's like, all Samsung demo phones will not download Fortnite for the skins. Apparently, like, they're getting past it by not allowing their network to download Fortnite or something like that. And so one of the remedies people use is that they're using their own hotspots on their phones to connect, to give internet to the demo phone so that they can download Fortnite and play it there. But obviously, you know, you're going to be playing Fortnite a couple of games, people are going to notice that. I mean, you can probably get into a game and just die. And then the thing about this is that each device can only redeem one skin. So if someone redeemed the skin already on a device and you try to do it too in a public device, on it, then you can't get it anymore. And I really don't think you should do this. You shouldn't go to, you shouldn't go out to demos, to stores and then redeem it there. That's not what the demo phones are used for. You should probably just ask a friend or maybe if you're really interested in the Samsung phone, you should go get one yourself. But I think Samsung made a bit of a mistake with the Epic Games Fortnite Galaxy skin kind of mashup. I think instead of making it exclusive to the S9 and the Tab 4, they should have made it all Samsung devices across the board. I mean, Fortnite on Android is still leagues behind that of the uh, iOS release. And I think it would have incentivized more people to get the Android version of Fortnite. I mean, I'm sure in the future we're going to see more of these uh, skin mashups with different kind of companies. Who knows, maybe if you could go get a- maybe you can get a Happy Meal, a Fortnite meal at McDonald's and you get a skin. That would be really interesting. But what do you guys think? How far should exclusives go in terms of exclusivity? I mean, you don't want the barrier of entry to be too much. I mean, you're paying like $1,000 for a Samsung phone just for a skin, right? It's kind of a bonus thing. Anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. See you next time.